I'm Alan McEachran, director of the GeoVista Center at Penn State. This GeoVista micro lecture continues discussion of a pattern identification approach to cartographic visualization, the 1990 paper I produced with John Ganter. If you've not yet viewed part one in this series, I encourage you to start there. In the previous micro lecture, I outlined the core conceptual pattern identification framework for cartographic visualization that we introduced there. Here, I'll highlight two additional points raised in that paper that remain important research issues. The first issue deals with the challenges of visualization quality, or how to address issues of reliability, uncertainty, and validity in visualization. In the previous micro lecture, I argued that successful visualization tools need to enable users to take multiple perspectives on data. But as we build such tools, we also need to find ways to counter the ingrained tendency that humans have to find patterns in anything, even in random noise. Thus, our tools must do more than help users detect pattern matches, for example, noticing a cluster of census tracts on a map with high disease incidence values. The tools need to help users also reject those patterns that are incorrect. In relation to the potential for misinterpretation errors, John Ganter and I introduced the idea of type 1 and type 2 visualization errors. The first, seeing wrong, can be defined as misinterpreting a pattern or seeing one that does not exist. Type 2, or not seeing, can be defined as failing to notice a pattern that is there. These categories have obvious and intended parallels to the better known type 1 and type 2 errors in statistical analysis. A final topic in our 1990 paper is the need to consider the domain of practice when developing visualization tools. In that paper, we targeted visualization tools to support scientific investigation. However, it's clear that visualization tool needs are not identical in all domains. For example, goals of science differ from those in urban design and regional planning. Thus, supporting different goals requires a different approach to functions such as information abstraction and requires different tools to support contrasting functions. In general, science requires abstract representation, while domains such as urban design often need iconic or realistic representations. And science focuses on developing general principles, while design and planning focus on concrete solutions to practical problems. While the early emphasis in cartographic visualization was on support of science, the field has branched out to consider a much wider range of users. Thus, recognizing the differences in user needs and work practices is more critical now than it was two decades ago. If you're interested in learning more, I encourage you to check out the original publication and the subsequent publications mentioned here. Till next time, this is Alan McEachran of the GeoVista Center at Penn State.